As Bill Buckley discovered, your holiday starts in style, on the North Sea. This might look like the start of a pretty expensive cruise. In fact, if you go on this holiday, it's the cheapest way to get to Denmark. It does take 19 hours, but there are cinemas, dancing, reasonably priced food, and plenty of activities for the kids. Your car is tucked away below, and later you will be in your cabin. As soon as you get on the ship, you feel like you're already in Denmark, and it's a great place to try your first pint of Danish lager, Skull. Ever wondered why they say skull? Apparently, the Vikings used to drink their beer out of their enemies' skulls after they'd bumped them off. But don't worry, they're much friendlier in Denmark today. Now, you could hardly go to Denmark without trying a proper Danish pastry, could you? Although, if you want to try out your few halting words of Danish as well, you're likely to be disappointed. Um, <clears throat> uh, ja, vil gerne he i stuge vinebro. Certainly, sir. Oh. You wouldn't find many English shop assistants who speak Danish. But the Danes speak our language so well, communication is rarely a problem. Not even with these chaps in the fish museum at Esbjerg. Show them a herring and they soon get the message. They're a great favourite with the children and if you get the chance to serve them lunch, this is the way I recommend you do it. The Danish countryside is delightful, and there's a lot of it. Denmark is a spacious country, and also, it seems, a wealthy one, because having a second home really is quite the norm. Very nice they are too, with all mod cons, and it's in one that you'll stay on this holiday. The houses are graded in three standards, A, B and C. These two families chose a C, the cheapest, but their house certainly impressed them. It was warm and cosy, which was perhaps just as well. We didn't want anywhere that was too hot for the children, so we, we picked something Scandinavian and we were right. <laughs> With children, it, it's really a waste of time paying for them in restaurants and things. It's a lot easier to eat here, but we have had a couple of meals out, but they weren't really that expensive. Mm. It, it package, certainly was yeah. cheaper than going across to France or anywhere as a package bringing small children because we didn't have to pay for them being under four, which made a big difference really. Our families were staying near the charming little town of Abeltoft, which dates from 1301 and still boasts a traditional top-hatted chimney sweep. Children are warmly welcomed everywhere in Denmark, even in pubs. For about six pounds a head, you can have a traditional Danish lunch, including lager and snaps, which you're supposed to knock back in one go. <laughs> Funny how a comfortably off nation like the Danes can never afford the tops to the sandwiches, but the food was delicious. Oh. Well, most people thought so. From an old town to an even older person, the star exhibit of the Meersgord Museum, who was found pickled in a nearby peat bog. They call him Grau Bella Man after the village where he was found, and you have to admit that for a 2,000-year-old, he's in pretty good nick. They think his last meal was probably burnt porridge. Rather sad, that really, isn't it? Go north for five miles for another piece of history, the Denmark of Hans Christian Andersen's time at Aarhus. It only costs about £2.50 to get into the old town at Aarhus, and children are free, and it takes a long time to look round all the buildings, so really it's a very cheap family day out. Mind you, once you're in here, there are temptations, for instance, these wonderful sweets in this shop here. And look at these marvellous lollies. No, I better not. Some of the buildings are 250 years old. Shop signs were so much nicer in those days. The buildings were taken apart piece by piece and brought here from all over the country. And as you can see, it's a living museum too. If you come on a Sunday, you can hear the free concert given by the immaculately turned out Aarhus Concert Orchestra. Mm -hmm. 
Isn't it nice to see people enjoying their work? Now, one place we didn't go to was Copenhagen. So how come we filmed the Danish royal family's official residence? Easy, we went to Legoland. Legoland, but you don't have a child to bring along as an excuse, don't worry about it. 20% of the grown-ups here are unaccompanied by children and they still let them in. As well as the Lego models, there are also all these rides, all the fun of the fair. This is a terrific ride. I really hate it. Yes, well, there's no accounting for taste, is there? Actually, I think a ride in one of these would have suited me better. Legoland was invented by a Dane, and Legoland is made of 33 million perfectly ordinary bits of it. It survives snow, rain and hail without any problems. The only things more impressive than the exhibits are the expressions they bring to young faces. Whether you're 6 or 60, Legoland is a place not to be missed. There's a hotel here. Don't worry, the beds and furniture are made of quite normal materials, so it's a good idea to stay a night because there's plenty to keep you interested for more than one day. to be the cheapest, quickest world cruise you could ever go on. Meanwhile, back in Abeltoft... Outside what is claimed to be the world's smallest town hall, the night watchmen tell everyone in song that it's time for bed, just as they have done since the 16th century. If your idea of a holiday doesn't depend on endless sunshine and bargain booze, Denmark, with its warm welcome, cool climate and the wonders of Legoland, could be just the place for you and your family. Well, this holiday was through DFDS Longship and was for nine days, that's two on board and seven in Denmark. And the cost of mum, dad and two children is £318. That's terrific value. And it also includes a four-berth inside cabin and a car fare. There's also a long weekend version, same sea journey, but three days on land, and that's £262. Both holidays are priced for June, and you leave from either Newcastle or Harwich with the bonus that the northern port is even cheaper. <laughs>